We begin this hour with two stories you, our viewers, wanted us to look into. First, the largest of four commuter parking lots here at Wilson Subway Station is about to shut down. So that means over 600 of the parking spots that you can see here are about to disappear. Now tonight, why the city decided to develop this land and where all these commuters are supposed to go. What did you? I had no so idea. So the West lot is, is closing. Many commuters like Patricia were stunned to learn that the big West commuter lot out here at Wilson subway station will be shut down in a matter of days. 610 spots will disappear on December 1st as Build Toronto starts development on a 50,000 square foot shopping center. There's already enough retail over there. I don't see why, you know, I mean, people need it. People. People come from everywhere. People come from Vaughan. People come from where I am, from the more west. And this is very beneficial, like I said, so I, I just can't believe it. 610 spaces are going to be gone. Oh, that's awful. Because I drove around, actually, uh, I think it was last week, and I drove from lot to lot to lot, and then ended up having to drive down to work because I couldn't get a parking wow. spot. So it was so bad you had to drive to work. You couldn't yeah. take transit. No, couldn't take transit. The city and TTC declared this lot a surplus back in 2009 based on commuter data collected back then. Despite a population boom and transit investment since then, it's now in the hands of the city's real estate developer. As property is declared surplus by the city, they have a very comprehensive process to make sure it's no longer needed for anything. If it has development potential, then we take start the development of the various sites. I guess money's good, but it <laughs> sucks for us. But the TTC says it's not all bad news for commuters. In February, 1,100 new spots will be opening up at the Yorkdale subway station, just a five-minute drive away from Wilson with no traffic. And there's more to come. By the time the Toronto York Spadina subway extension is running at the end of 2017, there will be 2,800 commuter spots between three of the new stops. 400 parking spots at Finch West, 1850 at Pioneer Village, and 563 at the 407 station. But the chief planner for the city of Toronto tells us the ultimate vision for commuting in Toronto does not involve cars. The overall objective in our planning is to create mixed use communities where people actually have the choice to use transit first. So the more housing you put where there's currently a parking lot, the less people need to drive to work. The more option people have to actually walk to the transit station. So that's the planning objective. In the short term, uh, will more people or some people be, be driving to transit? That's entirely possible. Okay, so there will be about a two month period from when these spots disappear and when the new spots will open over at Yorkdale subway station. So the TTC right now is asking people to think about carpooling or look into other stations that you could use to get you downtown or wherever you're going. Now, of course, the story did come to us from a city news viewer. If you have something that you'd like us to look into, you can reach us by phone, email or Twitter. You can also send a tip to our website citynews.ca.